Look, it's a giant boxy charm. No, it's actually boxy lux. This is way bigger, as you can see by the size of it compared to my head, <laughs> than a normal boxy charm. So if you want to see what this is all about, keep watching. Hello, my beauty buddy. This came in the mail today and I'm so excited to share it with you. It is my first BoxyLux. If you've been watching me for any period of time, you know that I've been loving BoxyCharm for years. So when I had the opportunity to upgrade uh, to the BoxyLux, the upgrade is quarterly, by the way, so I'm still paying my normal $21 a month, um, two months out of the quarter. And then the third month, I pay an additional $28.99, which brings it basically to $50. Um, and then I get this one. So I get two normal, the small boxy charms, and then my third month, so in December, you know, I got this one. And then in January, February, it'll be normal boxy charm. And then in March, I'll get one of these big conas again. So let's look at it. So they made it like a giant boxy charm box. Hello Charmer. And it's got a whoop, very large insert. Normally they're, you know, kind of small. And it's a, whoops, big fold out like this. And on the back, it has some special offers uh, from some different companies back here with percentages off and things like that. And then lists all the products as they usually do in the smaller boxes. Um, just in case you're wondering, uh, this is supposed to have 10 full-size products in it. I was given choice on a couple items. Uh, and, and when we get to those, if I can remember, <laughs> I, will, I will point those out. Um, oh, and there's a limited warranty here on, oh, on my hair selling product. Oh, that's the other difference. The Boxy Lux is going to have hair products in it also. Uh, generally, Boxy Charm has been pretty much makeup, maybe a little bit of skincare lately, um, but this is going to have skincare, hair care, and makeup. Uh, it's got that foam in it that I love this stuff. You guys, when you pack your makeup, if you use um, like a Zuka bag or something, I put a layer of this on the top and the bottom, put my palettes in the middle. It helps so much with travel, keeping them safe. I don't feel like I have to carry on everything all the time. All right, first thing in here, mm, sponge gel sponge. Okay, I order these, I, I, I pay for these, I buy these. It's not like I just, you know, I've gotten a couple of boxes, but I love them so much, I reorder them. Uh, they are these sponges and they're preloaded with body wash and they smell so good. Now, obviously, if you can't have scented things or are very sensitive, you better look at all the ingredients, but mm, for me, they're wonderful. The first one I ever got was a heart. I have a star, I have some round ones. In fact, I just had ordered one that was covered with sparkle. It was like a shimmer one, but the shimmer was just on the outside. It doesn't seem to be coming from the inside. So once you get the outer layer off, it's kind of gone, but um, they are fabulous. And they have some that have kind of a buffing side and just a normal spongy side. I feel like they're slightly exfoliating even when they're just this normal kind of a sponge, um, but you know, they have a little extra bit of scrubby buffer on it. The heart-shaped one and the petty ones that are made specifically for your feet. Um, but I mean, you can use them wherever you want. So they are dermatologist tested and formulated with the extracts of yuzu, edelweiss, and vetiver to moisturize, soften, and cleanse. And those have a price of $20. And they last really long. Like if they say it lasts like 30 washes, for me it lasts like 50 washes. Um, they last a really long time for me. This says, let me see what it says. Does it say? Oh, it just says multi-use. Okay, I guess they're not saying the number on them anymore. The one that I just opened up said like 30, and I've already used it like 20 times, and there's so much stuff still in it. Oh, okay, this is the Luxie Complete Base Set. I really enjoy Luxie brushes. Um, I mean, I really like my high-end ones too that I have, but really for a uh, average priced brush that won't break the bank, it holds up really well, that feels really nice in the skin. These are awesome. So this Luxie Rose Gold Complete Face Brush Set has a MSRP of $65. So this is what the set looks like. There's a round top blender, tapered highlighter, pro precision, tapered blending, eye shading, flat definer, brow and lash spoolie, and a lip brush. So this is really great. I think I probably have most of these. I don't have their spoolie. I don't have the lip brush. Um, and I do have those three face brushes, so I'm gonna see if I wanna keep some of this for a giveaway or what. And I wonder, oh, the little stand here is cardboard. I was hoping it was like a stand stand, but it looks like it's all cardboard in here, but absolutely fabulous to have this. Next up, we have this Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, and they say that it has a value of $89, and it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. This is everything your skincare routine has been missing. A potent cocktail of seaweeds has been blended with ginkgo, bilboa, rose, and mimosa to moisturize and visibly improve fine lines. This ultimate anti-aging cream will leave your skin feeling supple, firm, and radiant. Uh, so this is the size. This is what, an ounce? Yeah, so one ounce. Uh, the packaging feels very quality, you know, heavy. 
Okay, so it looks like a very, you know, not a super thick cream. So here it is on my finger. Let's just rub it in. So it goes on and it really soaks in nicely. It, it's kind of a thin cream mm, and it has a very, very slight fragrance. It's very, very light, uh, almost not powdery, but almost florally powdery. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's the only way that I can describe it. Oh, this is the little straightener. Okay, this is one of my choice items. I have a choice of this and a palette uh, by a company that wasn't very familiar with. I, it's an indie brand, I guess. And I thought this was darling. It's a little travel uh, flat iron. And uh, the brand, it, it, this has supposedly $75 value for this little guy. So I, I haven't tried this brand before. Oh, and I got the bright yellow. I will not be losing this in my luggage. It's so tiny. It's even tinier than I thought it would be. Okay, this would take forever to do my hair. Um, look at this, you guys. It's it's the size of my hand. But, you know, I guess if you just were touching up your bangs or you were in a pinch and didn't have a lot of room, um, I mean, I guess you could do it. Huh. Okay, I look forward to trying this out. I don't know if I would have paid $75 for this. Oh, we have a Tarte, Tarte Shimmering Lip Paint, and it is in the shade, ooh, Strike Gold. That sounds like something I'd like. I love gold in my lipsticks, lip glosses, lip everything. Ooh, pretty, look at that. Let's try it on my hand. Whoops, I really like lip glosses. Do you like lip glosses? Ooh, that is going to be super pretty. I could put a hint of it here, let's see. It's got gold all over my eyes. I got the Natasha Denona um, gold palette and uh, I've been loving that. Okay. What do you think? I have a little mirror down there in case you're wondering what I was doing like looking down here. Yeah, look at the top of my head, everyone. I have a MAC lipstick on right now and I really like it because even though it looks really matte when I put it on, it feels moisturizing. It's really nice. I got, it's like a little sample thingy I got. I think it was a Generation Beauty. All right, next, oh, Lorac Pro Lash Pomade. Cool, and this is in black. Uh, okay, here's a little, looks like a makeup bag and it says Glam AF on it. Um, it's not really a term I, I use. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, just, you know, bigger than like an Ipsy Glam bag. Um, let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, there's something in it. And it's got a little divider in the middle of it. So roomy, um, I'll probably give this away. I just don't usually run around with things saying AF on it. Uh, and oh, this looks, this is like a charger for my phone. So this is a uh, wristlet and portable charger, and they say this is a $22 value, compatible with iPhone and Android devices. So that's interesting, and it says beauty on it, and it came in a little beauty bag, so I guess it's beauty related, but interesting that we got a little electronic item in there. That's kind of different from OxyCharm. Definitely a first time for me to get anything like that. All right, moving on. This is the Wander Beauty Wondrous Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette. I forgot what the other option was. I think I had a choice on this. Uh, and I chose this because I really like the under eye patches, the little masks uh, for your under eye by Wander Beauty. Um, their mascara doesn't do enough for me. It, it's nice and black and it does add a bit of volume for me, but I wanted to try another beauty item by them. So we have Tuscan Sunrise, Havana Nights, and City Lights. Uh, so that's what they look like. I'm going to take a little a blush brush here and uh, let's, let's see what those, what those look like because I don't think that blush swatches are always like the best indicator. So this is the Tuscan Sunrise. I'll just go ahead and put that. Oh, so it's pretty light. Kind of a lot of powder went flying there. Maybe I'll just swatch it too so we can put it next to it. Okay, so it's very light. It seems a bit powdery. Um, but when I put it on with the blush brush, hmm, I'm not seeing it very much. So there's the swatch and there it is with the blush brush. Now I'll switch to another brush and we'll do the Havana Nights. Let me just go ahead and we'll do a little swatch of it. So that is very pigmented. So, wow, look at that. 
<laughs> I have a feeling that this is going to be quite bright, yeah. So, very pretty color. I'll try another little dash. Let's see how it builds up. Oh yeah, look at that. So you could really, really build this up. All right, now on to another, let's see, let's get something that's more highlighter-esque, like this guy here. Um, so this would be the City Lights. It looks a little dark for highlight. Oh, it's a pretty gold. Look at that, you guys. That looks very nice. All right, we'll put this here. So it's a kind of goldish coppery highlighter. And I do enjoy gold highlighters. So let's go ahead and highlight. So there you've got that. Yeah, that's, that would be even pretty as an eye, as an eye color. I like that. I wonder if it'd be too dark on me. Let's check it out as a, as a highlight. What do you guys think? Is that showing up? Oh, wow. Okay. I've got a different mirror over here. Wow. Yeah, that is, that is popping. Hopefully you guys can tell, but I'm seeing it in a mirror over here. It's like, boom, flying off my cheekbones. All right. And then there's something else. Oh, yes. I'm super excited about this. It's the Violet Boss. I should show you the packaging. Holy Grail palette. I've heard all kinds of great things about this palette. Just never got around to purchasing a Violet Boss palette for some reason. Uh, I'm trying to really just purchase things I'm going to review or that I know I'm going to use and really, really, really reach for. Uh, so this somehow just never made it onto the list, although I was very tempted. Uh, let's see, it has $45 value, 20 colors on here. Ooh, very pretty. But these definitely look like ones that I would, I would wear. So there it is. I'm sure there are about a million videos on this because it's been out for quite a while. But I'm very excited to try it and it looks very pretty. Ooh, especially that color Cranberry Splash. For me, I think this was totally worth it because I love Luxie brushes and there are a few in here that I don't own, so I'm happy to have those. And whatever else I have, I can save for giveaway or as backups. I've been wanting to try a palette like this, so this is awesome. Uh, I love the sponge gel. You know I'm a skincare junkie, so I'm very excited to test out the Elemis skincare cream. Uh, you know, can never hurt to have a little extra charger. Sponge gel sponges. I'm such a fan. I'm excited to have another one now in, in backup position. I think I actually have another one in backup position already, but double backup position. Um, so for me, I think this was all worth it. I'm, I'm looking at this stuff and, and I think this was great. So I think it's worth the upgrade. Now you do need to be subscribed to BoxyCharm to be able to upgrade to this. So if you do want to, I would make sure to sign up for BoxyCharm maybe in you know, February, January, February, so that you could get the March one, you know, if that's what you're trying to get it, because I think it was a great value and some really nice items. And, you know, even if all of these weren't something I would want to use, they're very giftable too, especially at this time of year. So uh, this was a really great box, I think, and I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that I did it. So let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, if you've been enjoying my videos, and don't forget to take off all your makeup before you go to bed every single night. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.